Deadlock is not really a sentinel, but what is she? In this video, I'll break down of what her role actually is. Welcome to the Lotus Lab, episode 67, I've, I think. Um, I just put Deadlock into the compendium. Uh, if you wonder what this file is, in my chat on Twitch, you can type in exclamation mark compendium and have access to this file. There's like a lot of uh, valuable information here, including like breakdown of the, of the agent roles, about defaulting smokes that I'm working on right now, and so on. But Deadlock is... It's actually really weird. Um, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. So Deadlock is a sentinel. That's what Riot called her. But really, she doesn't really do the same role as the other sentinels. Like, the primary role here for Deadlock is different than, for example, Kiljo and Cypher. Because Kiljo and Cypher, they get valuable information by doing passive stuff. The turret is watching an angle, the camera is watching an angle, doesn't require any kind of influence from the player itself. While Deadlock doesn't really have any of that, and her traps also don't really give you information. So you still need to be holding the angle yourself. That's why I didn't name her a surveillance agent, but she's a site fortifier. And that's her role. She's not like Sage. Sage is a stalling expert, but it's like, Sage has so many pieces of the kit that allows you to slow down your opponents. Not fully, but it's still possible, right? Well, Deadlock, not really. It's not the same. Because the thing is, again, the traps are conditional, right? And they can be destroyed. Sage slow cannot be destroyed. If it's thrown, it's thrown. It's affecting the opponents unless they do any kind of mobility abilities, right? So... What her role in my mind is, and what her role should be named like, was is the side fortifier. What I mean by that, it works in both ways, on attack and defense. Because her job, in my mind, is to sit on one side and make certain that when you're holding an angle and an executor is coming towards you, you have the ability to hold that angle because you're supported by your own util. Right, you have the traps and you have the wall. I specifically don't count the grenade because the grenade is just so incredibly bad that in most cases it's actually not worth buying even. That's at least what I think about the grenade. It's incredibly weak. Um, it stops only the push for like a millisecond because people can turn it off. And even if they don't turn it off, they can just passively wait it out because it doesn't have any negative um, uh, effect on them apart from crouching right and it costs you 200 so in many games i literally don't buy it to have more buys with vandal and small shields um, and the same with the side fortification applies to attack because your job on attack is to go onto the site use the wall to like cut off one retake angle, and then put your traps on site when you're already in the post plant. And the only piece of utility that is actually really useful or should be useful on attack is the grenade, but it's not because it doesn't have an effect that is actually impactful. So the only thing that you can do is cut off the wall, cut off something with the wall, and that's about it. And there are some options there, of course. Like, for example, when I'm playing on Ascent, there's an option uh, to make sure that you do something that I called execute split. Execute splitting is a territory role that is only applicable on defense, uh, but that's my, let's say, opinion on that it's so important for her to actually do this well, is because she's able to do something very specific. That's something that Sage cannot really do. So let's assume this is a typical um, execute from Ascent A main. And if the jet dashes onto here into a smoke, you know that it's going to happen because there's so much utility flying. In that moment, when you hear the jet smoke, but not dash yet, you're going to throw the wall to split her from the rest of the team. So she's executing alone and creating the space, so you have the opportunity to isolate her in a 1v1. And of course, this can be supported then with your traps on site. So... An execute split is a very effective way of playing deadlock, but that only applies on uh, the defense. On attack, you're going to be probably just doing a wall for, like, let's say, if you're attacking on, on ascent, you're probably going to do this very popular lineup that just goes 
like this. You throw it here. And it just cuts off. I actually missed it because it should be landing here. But it, sh it should cut off the players coming in from doors. And that's about it. Right? And then you just go in and you cannot really put the traps to check any corners because they require sound to be made. But also they, they have range of 40 meters. And by the way, Cypher has a range on traps 20 meters. While Deadlock is literally punished for no reason. Not only had traps have shorter effect because the traps from Cypher have, are longer than the trap from Deadlock, also you're limited in range and Cypher is able to put the trap from such a distance while you're able to put your trap from such a distance. Like it's actually crazy difference. And this is why you also cannot you use the traps reliably while attacking because it'll literally expose yourself while doing that. So it's not a possibility, right? So that's what I think is happening with Deadlock nowadays. It's like she's very limited. She's a side fortifier, as I said, has the secondary role, conditional restricted info, and it's incredibly restricted because Sage has also passive restricted info because the wall cuts off an angle, they cannot see through it, and the only way they can go through it is by either destroying it, right? Or TPing or using any kind of mobility and so on. It's very similar to Deadlock, but Deadlock doesn't deny information with the wall because it's transparent, right? But other stuff is actually conditional. Your traps are giving informations only if your opponent allows you, uh, sorry, allows you to get informations. It's not something that you will gonna get on its own. If it's only if your opponent will make a mistake or he will allow you to get that info in the first place. While Sage, if she slows down, you will hear if someone is going through the slow or they have to wait it out and they cannot deny it. They cannot proactively say, oh, we ignore this or we go through anyway, right? So um, that's such a huge difference. Uh, in the approach that you have when playing Deadlock. And there's no way that she's going to replace uh, Killjoy Cypher or even Chamber because she's completely different and she's not really effective in a significant way on attack. And while you can just say that about every other agent that you have in the game, Chamber, Killjoy Cypher, Sage, when it comes to Sentinels, is effective and has a way of playing the game on attack, Deadlock currently is so limited her only aspect of like, helping the team is actually the wall. Again, I completely disregard the grenade because it's so weak. But I do think that she is very close to being playable just with some few tweaks. The grenade needs to get another additional effect or deal damage. The traps need to have longer range when it comes to setting them up so you can use them while walking onto the side not being exposed. Like Small things like that will actually make her much more playable and probably change the way I see her um, in her roles. Because if the traps would have had longer range, like the 20 meters from Cypher, you could actually use them while doing a execute, right? When you're playing her in general, remember that your role should be typically secondary entry or support going on site. That's actually very important uh, because it's, it, 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 like, as again, again, she's not really good at lurking. Because the only thing that you lurk with when you're playing as a deadlock is your own game sense. There's not a single piece of ability that allows you to be more effective as a lurker because you cannot deny traps uh, passive info with a smoke. You cannot go over traps by having mobility. And you can deny any vision as well. So in general, you have zero things in your kit that will allow you to be more effective lurk. Even Cypher, sorry, even Sage is more effective as a lurker than uh than than deadlock that's kind of crazy when you think about it right so so yeah uh yeah ah, ha, ha. exactly and then when you play on actually killer should be two out of ten um so when it comes to when it comes to attacking uh, sorry prefer the preferable defense role she should be an anchor i don't see her as a rotator i heard that the game dev uh game devs wanted to make her like reactive with putting head traps and so on i don't think that works it takes too much time to react to an execute to put head traps so you can't really do that reliably you have to literally just do it at least one trap before anything happens before the berry drops and the second trap you can react with but again it will distract you from the actual execute and if the ha executes are happening fast it's not gonna 
be helpful. She doesn't have a secondary defense role, at least that is similar to the other uh, agents, because not a single piece of her utility allows you to do to be proactive and then defense sniper she's zero out of ten because not a single piece of utility helps her with reliably getting anything out of the operator she can play the operator but you know she as an agent doesn't help you in that role and then all priority i rank her on both attack and defense very similarly to gecko because both of those ultimates are very similar gecko initiates but can be used twice right it has 200 hp can be denied and deadlock has limited range in 40 meters and can be also denied with 600 hp uh, but they serve a similar purpose so i do put them on the same or priority when it comes to getting the orbs in the first place so uh yeah she's a six out of ten when it comes to the orbs Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. I urge you, if you don't know the compendium, to watch the other explanations of the videos. I broke it down with the doers explanation, initiation, controllers, and sentinels. See you guys next time. But also remember, this was sponsored by Orbit. Ah, green screen. Thank you very much, Orbit, for sponsoring the video. If you guys want to have a fresh breath, buy some mints in the form of Orbit. Ah, invisible ones. Look at that. No, not really, it's just a green screen. But hey, thank you very much, Orbit, for sponsoring the video. Bye-bye.